Ernest Moody Jr. was born in Tulsa in 1925. His parents moved to Pitcher in far northeast Oklahoma in 1926 to start a steam-powered laundry that served the lead and zinc miners there. But the Great Depression of 1929 hit their business hard and it folded, so the family returned to Tulsa when Ernest was four. Over the next 10 years, his parents suffered illnesses and Ernest's father died when he was 14. As a junior at Will Rogers, Ernest spent much of his time pulling a wagon around the neighborhood, picking up neighbor's laundry for his mother's laundry business, which brought in just pennies a day. Ernest entered the jewelry business by accident. It all began with a broken clock that teenaged Ernest and his mother could not afford to repair. The cost would be one dollar. They had an alarm clock that he needed for getting up on time for school, and one day it broke. His mother sent him with the clock to Gilmore's repair shop on North Lewis Avenue, but having no money for the 50 cent spring it needed, Moody took the part-time job that Mr. Couples, owner and chief repairman at Gilmore's, offered him as a way to pay off the repair. Working after school, Ernest fixed his own clock and learned the watch repair business. He continued this job for years, developing a love for clocks and repairing them. He contracted tuberculosis when he was 17, and when his Tulsa doctor couldn't help him, he underwent experimental treatment at a U.S. Army hospital in Colorado. One of his roommates there was also a watch repairman, and during Moody's 18-month recovery, they joined forces to form a hospital watch repair service. Surviving tuberculosis, Ernest returned to Tulsa to resume his education at Will Rogers High School, where he learned he had received a Cornell University Engineering Scholarship. This would have qualified him to move into an emerging technology field that interested him, television. But fate would not have it that way. When Ernest excitedly hurried to the repair shop to tell Mr. Couples of his good fortune, the owner congratulated him, but dropped a bombshell that would change Moody's life. Couples told him he had to give up the shop and move out of state to care for an ailing family member. Couples wanted to sell Moody the business. Ernest said he had very little money, just $106 his mother had saved for him. Couples shook his hand and said, sold. It was 1944 and Ernest was 19. Ernest changed the shop's name to Moody's Time Service and later changed it again to Moody's Jewelry, adding gems to its inventory. Traveling jewelry salesmen set him up with enough stock to expand his shop into a fledgling jewelry business. Ernest's ethic of quality service enabled him and his beloved wife, Mildred, to build Moody's Jewelry into one of the nation's leading independent chains. It is the largest family-owned jeweler in Oklahoma. Since 1944, customers have come to recognize the Moody name as synonymous with quality and integrity. You've seen how carefully we select our fine diamonds, and you know our award-winning rings are sure to please your loved ones. The same tender loving care goes into every diamond piece at Moody's. From this magnificent 24 karat bracelet to this inexpensive but beautiful pendant necklace. Diamond set in dainty 14 karat gold chain starts as low as $89. Pierced earrings and exquisite settings are available in every price range. Make this a very special Christmas with your gifts of love from Moody's Jewelry. This year, why don't you shop Moody's Jewelry for your Christmas gifts of love? Our huge selection of beautiful, accurate watches are shown side by side from the most famous manufacturers. Electronic models, self-winding styles, elegant dress watches in every price range. Pave diamonds are the season's newest fashion in our award-winning styles. The elegant solitaire is bound to please your special queen. 
Whatever your budget, you'll find a just right gift at Moody's Jewelry, where we sell rings around everyone. Ernest Moody is a name known to many Will Rogers High School graduates who proudly wear their Will Rogers class ring purchased from Moody's Jewelry. His love for his alma mater made him Tulsa's first high school ring headquarters when the class of 1956 adopted the iconic dog iron design. All the world is lost And this world is so bright You and I sharing this time together Sharing the same dream As time goes by Living the